You're watching 20 TV Insider from Academy School District 20. Hello and welcome to 20 TV Insider, your weekly look into events at Academy School District 20. I'm Brian German. Thanks for joining us today. Winter sports playoffs are underway and several District 20 teams have advanced through the first two rounds. That includes the Rampart Girls basketball team who took on Ralston Valley in a round of 16 on Tuesday at Rampart. In the first, Nicia Elili playing some defense, gets the loose ball, takes it coast to coast for the chippy. Rams looking good, but Ralston Valley would be tough in this one. They come back the other way. Ashley Van Sickle hits for three of her team high 17. The Rams were down one after one. In the second, they go inside to Michaela Shackley. She gets it to go, and the Mustangs would lead by five at the half. Third, Bella Gonzalez trying to bring the Rams back. Drives inside for two. They were down five after three, but in the fourth, Ralston Valley too much. Sarah Bevington drive. Nice reverse layup. Ralston Valley wins 53 241 and eliminates Rampart. Well, the Pine Creek girls basketball team also advanced to the round of 16 in the 5A state tournament. They took on Broomfield, the number one seed in their bracket on Wednesday. The Lady Eagles were down early, trailing by as many as 14 in the first quarter, but they rallied to close within three before the half. However, Broomfield pulled away in the second half for a 73 to 53 win to eliminate the Eagles. The Rampart boys basketball team also made it to the round of 16. However, they're on the road Wednesday taking on number one seed Thunder Ridge. To get there, the Rams had to beat Lakewood this weekend, and it was a really good game at Rampart High School. In the first, Donovan Oldham to Cal Zeb Roberson for three. That was one of four assists for Oldham. More on that later. Lakewood's Dallas Bailey says what you can do, I can do. Rams were up five after the first. Here's another one. Here's Oldham to Cole Surgeon. Nice pass this time, no assist though. The cleanup by Oldham, he had a team high 17 points. Tigers come back, Jacob Story, he'll be telling everyone about this one. The Rams with six point lead at the half. But then Rampart takes over even more to Jake Wise. For three, they were cruising in the third quarter and then Mr. Oldham with the steal, he takes it all the way and slams it home. Rampart wins easily, 61 to 44. The Rams play at Thunder Ridge Wednesday night at seven. With the win, Rampart would play in the Great Eight in the Denver Coliseum against the winner of the Dakota Ridge and Chaparral game. The Air Academy boys basketball team is already in the Great Eight at the 4A State Basketball Tournament. They played at number one Golden High School on Saturday. The Cadets advanced to the quarterfinals with a first round win over Evergreen High School. Playing at home in front of the Cadet fans who love to watch them, James Sims cuts baseline. Nice pass from David Louthan. Two of 13 points for Sims. Evergreen comes back. Luke Camp camping behind the three point line misses, but Rob Shooten gets the rebound, puts it back for two. Cadets, though, start to move. Ambul to Adam Brown. Nice reverse. Two for the Cadets. They would lead by 10 at the half. Second half, Sims with the rebound, gets it back to Louthan inside. Louthan turns around, two of his 18 points. Cadets starting to pull away, but Evergreen's Luke Camp again comes back. The skip pass, Tanner Casson, he drives inside for the easy deuce, but it was not enough as Austin doing to Louthan, back to doing, makes a nice move in the lane, puts it up and in. Air Academy wins 68 to 47. And with that win against Evergreen, Air Academy would then host Pueblo Central with a spot in the Elite Eight on the line. In the first, there's Sims again with a nice runner on the baseline. He can do that against anybody. That Central comes back. Michael Ransom for three. Cadets would trail by five after the first. David Louthan to Paul Ambule. Nice pass by Louthan. He had 19 points, six rebounds, four assists. Tie game at the half. Louthan, then another dish. Nice job inside to Adam Brown, but the Wildcats would not go away. Kobe Betts to Ransom with the jumper. The Cadets were up just eight after the third, but then Sims comes back. Nice move behind the back. He goes inside. He finished with 12 points, and then Austin doing, doing what he does best, two of his seven points. Cadets win it. 64 to 54. And the Cadets play at Golden on Saturday at 7 o'clock. Golden, the number one seed in the bracket. And with a win, Air Academy would advance to the semifinals. Those are held at the University of Colorado in Boulder. The Air Academy girls basketball team took the momentum from their first round upset and nearly knocked off the number one team in their region. In the opening game of the tournament, the Lady Cadets beat Weld Central 40 to 35. That earned them the right to take on number one Holy Family the next night. The Cadets had a three point lead going into the fourth quarter, but Holy Family came back and edged them out 35 to 33. 
The Air Academy hockey team needed two wins to advance to the semifinals. As the number four seed, they hosted a regional with three other teams. They took on Aspen in the first game on Friday night, looking good at the just at the end of warmups and in the first no score. Cadets on the power play. Brady Boyce to Anthony Scioli. He scores. Air Academy up one to nothing. Same score in the second. Aspen's Ryan Fitzgerald makes a nice move, gets the puck by five hole, tied at one. But Air Academy shorthanded. Jonathan Balton takes it inside. What a beautiful play. Runs into the goaltender. 2 1. Cadets in the third. This game would be tied at three. The Cadets were shorthanded again, but Jared Kane stopped. Sam Thirchley, I'll take the puck right for him, put it in the net. Air Academy wins this one. 4 2 3. And with the win against Aspen, the Cadets would then host the five seed, Dakota Ridge, on Saturday. The winner would play in the state semifinal at the Budweiser Event Center in Broomfield. In the first, no score, the Eagles, Graham Kinsella, backhander, Zach Williams with the rebound, cleans it up. Dakota Ridge up 1 to nothing. Same score, Kinsella then finds Reed Hugenboom for the goal. 2 0. Eagles after one. Okay, it's backpedaling a bit, but in the second they get back into it on the power play. Off the faceoff, Jonathan Bolton does it all himself and scores. Nice selly as well. Kid, it's down 2-1. to one. Later in the period, Kid, it's down 3-1. to one. Air Academy back on the power play. Luke Scioli grabs the rebound, but the goal, it's not enough. The Kid, it's fall to 3-2. and two. They finish 12-3 and three on the year. Hey, if you have ideas or topics you would like us to cover, feel free to give us a call at 719-234-1780, or you can send us an email to 20TV at ASD20.org. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next week on 20TV Insider. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium. One part excellent, one part inspiration, one part preparation, one part